Oh mate! Oh, hell are you? Oh, buddy. Yeah, good. Talk to me. Look who we are. So, the route I'm following is called the Three Pass Route. It's quite a popular tramping route that'll lead you from the Arthur's Pass region through to the west coast. Uh, as the name suggests, it takes you through three alpine passes to scoot your way through the main divide and get some serious views along the way. So it starts you off on the Waimakadiri River, uh, you head up there and then that'll lead you in the Taipawiti River. So the track follows the stream the whole way up and it goes through a pretty cool gorge, plenty of waterfalls and it. it's quite a wicked spot. Uh, not recommended on high flows though, it can get a bit tricky. Uh, and that'll lead you out the back here to where I'm currently sitting. So this is Harmon Pass pretty awesome spot. So down here is Mary Stream and that leads you back around towards Arthur's Pass. Uh, behind me there, or behind the camera there, is um, the Waimakadiri River and the Taipawiti where I just came up from. And off to my right here is where I'm planning on going this afternoon is Whitehorn Pass. So this is sort of your second pass for the trip. Um, once you get through Harmon Pass here, you can climb your way up towards Whitehorn, up and over there, and then that leads you down the Cronin Stream. Uh, you follow that all the way down into the Wilberforce River where I'm going to be spending tonight at the Park Morpeth Hut and that's situated sort of just underneath Brownings Pass which is the last Alpine Pass for the trip so hoping to be doing that in a couple of days time climbing up there on Saturday morning to meet Reddy um, right at the top of the pass there's a Lake Browning there and it's right bang smack on the main divide it's going to be bloody awesome um, at the moment Reddy will be heading up the Arahura River so once you get through Browning Pass, um, you're on the west coast and you can either go down the Arahura River or the Styx River. At the moment the Styx has got quite a few slips and it's um, recommended that the Arahura is the way to go. So Reddy's coming up there at the moment he'll probably be about three quarters of the way up. It's an absolute bluebird day though, so I'm sure he's going to be loving it as much as me. Really looking forward to putting the feet to work this trip. It's already been a bit of a slog, but oh, the view's already worth it. Um, from a hunting perspective now, I'm going to be Glassing my way up towards Whitehorn Pass and down the other side in the hopes for an old chamois buck or just scouting out for a, for a big stag in velvet so I can come back in the roar and go after him. But now if this is <laughs> the first pass is anything to go by, this trip is going to be bloody awesome. The views are already great and oh, I just cannot wait. I just got eyes on what I thought was a lone chamois <clears throat> up towards the pass there, so it was primo. Um, the camera on him and all this excitement and it's a bulltar. Um, so that's well without, well outside the um, field range where they're meant to be. Quite far north. Um, he's feeding his way up into some quite bluffy terrain at the moment but I should probably try to do my part now that I've seen him and try and take him out because he's definitely a long way from home. I'm sure Doc wouldn't be happy to hear that there's tar spreading north so um, I might be on for a little bit of a stalk this afternoon. It's really gonna <laughs> turn a big day into a huge day, but um, that's what I'm out here to do. So, might be a late, late trip out to the hut tonight, but I was pretty excited. I've got a bit of, bit of a game plan now. The wind's right up my ass, so it's gonna be pretty touch and go, but I'll just see what I can do. And yeah, I might get a bull tower on the ground, which is <laughs> the last thing I expected. So, oh, so, here we go. So, as I expected, the wind's just humming up behind me, and that. Tarly's on to me now. Um, he's definitely alert. He sort of bluffed himself up there, so if he just holds tight, um, there's still a chance, but I'd give it a crack. But yeah, he's definitely on to me. <laughs> I was never walking up in the middle of a big old riverbed with nowhere to hide. <laughs> right, so I've dumped most of my gear. Just climb up the hill now towards that shooting spot and see if he's still there. So I've just got eyes on the bull. It's about 200 metres up the hill and he's. Still up on that knoll. Um, he's standing broadside looking down, so I'm just going to get set up. 
See if I can't squeeze a shot away. <laughs> Down too. I almost better retrieve him there. <laughs> You're joking. I got no idea how that all came together. Um, I didn't go after him for a trophy or anything, but that's more for conservation's sake. They shouldn't be here. It's been enough of a hassle with Doc recently, so it's, it's good to show that us hunters can make the right call. But no, I'm bloody chuffed. <laughs> I can't believe I just shot a bull tar. I. Biltar wasn't even on my mind for this trip. It was so far out of the equation that I'm kind of speechless. I just got killed smack, day. <laughs> Look at the spectrum. Woohoo! Yeah! Yodi! So, dumped most of my gear. Um, it's been a bit windier, so I'm worried it's gonna rain, but. Let's see if I can't get up there. It might be quite interesting to be honest. But yeah. I'm really not looking forward to this flying though. And, um, today's gonna be huge. I forgot like calling to the dock signs in like seven hours to get to the hut today. And it's about one o'clock now and I haven't had lunch. So, um, give me a day. Give me a big day. Here it is. Oh. Sorry mate, you look a long way from home. Oh shit, no wonder he wasn't bloody running. His eyes are pretty milky. He's got a bit of age to him, nothing super old, but I wonder how long he's been living in here. Yeah, look at this. All his skin, his fur on his nose has been worn off. I'm going to be honest, I'm pretty surprised by this bull. Um, worn down his back teeth and his eyes are pretty much milked over. He's probably near on blind, which is probably why I managed to just sneak out in the open and get a shot away. But, um, I might take some meat off him, it'll be pretty horrible, I'll be honest. But um, I feel bad leaving anything, so I'll take some back steaks and take the head, but I don't know. But the reality of the rest of the day is sinking in a little bit now. I've got a lot of walking to do. I just added some more weight to my pack, so i to love it. What do you think of your sunglass fix? <laughs> Crampons on and get across his icy face. Um, I decided not to go up the guts just because I could hear the river like flowing just underneath the ice. I was a bit, a bit nervy it could fall through, so grab the ice axe and the crampons out. Um, it's the 20, 21st of January right now, um, so I think any time of year that you come up and do this route, it's pretty sensible to take some of the ice gear. Um, because, yeah, I need it now, so happy I got it. <laughs> Check this out. We've made it. 
Quite a warm pass. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Force that way. <laughs> and camp all the way down the bottom. But oh, I'm absolutely bloody wrapped. She's had a massive day. So at the moment, we're looking down into Cronin Stream. Um, I think the good thing about me pissing around so long today is um, now when I hunt down Cronin Stream, uh, the stags are actually likely to be out feeding because it's so late in the day. So, bodes well for my scouting wish. Um, just hope I don't get to the hut tonight too late because I'm pretty exhausted already. But, uh, chaff, look at this glacier, look at the waterfall. Oh man. my way down that valley and I'm sort of shabby but he's probably in the middle of the way. Just getting set up now, I think I'm gonna take him. Oh shit, he's got the swoop. Beam. <laughs> Holy shit. <sighs> they haven't so fast so I just <laughs> just coming down and these key have been following me for a while, making a racket and then just look down below me and there's just this chamois center right there. Um, it looks pretty good. It's Kia. Well, some chamois meat now. I'm a big fan of chamois meat and I've got some treats to cook it up with, so I'm gonna catch up with Reddy tomorrow. He's gonna be sharp and cook him up the feed. I'm not gonna waste any of this guy. Um, I'm fizzing, absolutely fizzing. Yes! <laughs> what a bloody day. Well, I didn't really have the length that I thought he did, my first impressions. I think the tired ice got the better of me a little bit. Um, uh, still, bloody chuffed I've taken him. Uh, I'm going to make the most of it and take as much meat as possible. He's a younger animal, so uh, the meat's going to be bloody awesome. Now I'm just going to whip the meat off and <coughs> make my way down valley, um, get to this hut. It's getting, getting towards the end of the day now and I'm pretty bloody tired. It's been a, a massive couple of days, but um, wicked to get, get to him one day. The, um, the alpine triple's lingering in the back of my mind, but oh, the stags are in velvet at the moment. Um, if I saw something great, it would just be a waste. So. I think I've shot enough for one day, so. All right, let's get back to this hut before dark. We're close enough to it.
I've woken up to another beautiful morning, um, another bluebird day. I'm bloody lucky with how the weather's panned out for this trip. But um, yeah, the plan for the morning is to um, leave most of my gear here, which I'm very thankful for. My body's pretty tired. And um, punch up to Browning Pass to meet ready. Uh, the track guide says it's going to take two hours from here to get up to the pass, so should make good time this morning and hopefully meet him about 10 o'clock. It's going to be another big day, but nowhere near as big as yesterday, so I'm pretty thankful for that. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> he's ready. Looks like he's been camping somewhere bloody beautiful. Yes. What a spot. <laughs> he's got the pack raft out. I mean, <laughs> to get the drone. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. Mate. Oh, mate. What a mission. Oh, how are you? Oh, buddy. Oh, wow. Yeah, good. <laughs> Talk to me. Look who we are. This is fucking unbelievable. Dude. Look at your campsite. Oh, I know. <laughs> just last night, the clouds like rolling and like literally on the lake, just like oh. coming through. It was so sick. <laughs> oh. Have you even gone mud? I've fed it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, shattered, but no, it's been fucking incredible. What did you say last night? Uh, that part from Auckland Park. Oh, but man, I was like dead on the way up yeah, to that Yeah, no, I was crawling up here, man. It was so <laughs> fucking long. I had like the grandpa shuffle going. Really? I was like, oh! I got a How is this? It looks horrific to it come is. up. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 It's probably going to start to go down. Is that your sign like fucking 10 or oh, 5k that way that says, warning, bad descent from this side? Yeah, it sucks. Oh, fuck. It must be dead. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah, I'm glad I don't have a full pack. <laughs> We're just going to be one of the first people. That graph like routing. I'm very surprised to be the last to start Is, do you think you're the first person to pack raft on Lake Browning? Yeah, I don't know why. Pretty keen to claim it. I think you'd be the first person to walk up from Okotoka Beach to pack raft it. <laughs> I'd say so.
So right now we're bang smack on the main divide. Um, <laughs> so browning past there just cut straight through it. <laughs> West coast that way, east coast that way. And pack rafting on it. <laughs> oh, so heavy. It's the first time in pack raft. I think it's a pretty cool place for it. Oh, mate. Hey, thanks for carrying that hey, up from the beach, eh? Hey? <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Take that one off, eh? Hey? <laughs> that right there is the last hill I'm going to climb this trip. <laughs> How do you feel about going down the pass, ready? Uh, it looks pretty steep to start, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. uh, you came up it, so it looks alright. Yeah. Got that hell warm all down. Just do little buttons up. Oh, yeah. See that fucking mark. Fuck that, eh? Can he keep his boots dry? The age-old question. <laughs> Hey, he's fucking nailed it! Yeah, just about 11 and a half. Classic. Bad at all. Not far off the best, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> In all the places you found it. I think for the shame of you just need to measure how good dinner tastes. Exactly. I'll tell you what, I'm pretty thankful you shot it. Eight and a half. Not bad. So what's, what is this for dinner? <coughs> dinner oh. tonight is... Oh yeah, you don't even know what dinner is. No. <coughs> so I carried up with me an onion, a couple of bags of rice, and some stir fry sauce, and it's a Chinese um, spare rib sauce or something. Oh, pork spare rib. stop it. So hopefully it's going to be... How good stripping time. <laughs> Still, we taste test for the um. Sauce. See here, it's gonna go with the stew fry, but it smells mean. Um, this is a steaming fillet steak, as you can see, though. Huge steaks. Absolutely massive. But um, now I think for the main meal, we're gonna have some back steak and cut some onion, obviously the sauce, and boil up right. some rice. Unbelievable. Fry it all together. Cheers, mate. Hey, no worries.
going on this morning, Randy? This morning, packing up. It's an early morning, and we are headed downstream <laughs> to uh, Mitch's rendezvous point for his pickup, and where I'll be going my separate ways. <laughs> Carry on up. Hopefully, I hope he took a saddle by the next day or first thing in the morning. <laughs> oh. You all good? <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! I just had to say, it looks fun on me too. <laughs> Come on, say it now. I knew a man with a walking pole. <laughs> he is ready, about to go over an alpine pass. <laughs> He's passing up on the riverbed. <laughs> Not a good storm. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> G'day mate. Watch your gun. Yeah, jeez. What a spot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Radio, so we're currently holed up in Urquhart Hut. Um, it's right down the bottom of the Wilberforce River. It sort of meets up with the Griffith Stream and Unknown Stream. So this is where we're going to part ways. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, she's been a hell of an adventure for me. Uh, I'm pretty excited to be going home now, but... <laughs> Um, coming up over the three passes was absolutely incredible. Um, Whitehorn Pass especially, that place was absolutely magnificent. Um, if you're after a good adventure and you've got a few days for you, I'd really recommend it. It's, it's a good challenge, but it's like it's safe enough. It's quite a well-traveled route, so it's, it's bloody awesome. But um, yeah, that's pretty much my trip done. Um, Ready's carrying on, aren't you, mate? Yeah, I'll be carrying on now. Um, from here, I'm going to head up the Griffith, Griffith Creek, I think it is, and then up over Hope to take the saddle into the Mungo River, so back into the west coast. Uh, from there, head down the Mungo, up until Through Saddle, go over Through Saddle, down into Through Creek, into the Whitcomb River. From there, head all the way up to Whitcomb Pass, where I'll be back into the east coast, down into the Rakai River, and then pretty much we're off the, pretty much a hole into the Rakai River. Be pretty awesome, all the way out to the Rakai River mouth, <laughs> which will complete my coast to coast mission. <laughs> Yeah, fine. good luck with the weather, yeah. mate. I hope it carries on being so good for you. Yeah, it's been not too bad so far. Um, we've got a full party stay in there. She looks pretty good next week. So, um, fingers crossed it holds off. I'm um, a bit nervous about this next part, but once you get it over and done with, it should be pretty good. But, um, yeah, it's been an awesome trip. Thanks for coming, mate. I uh, really appreciate it. Um, it was bloody cool to have a friendly face up there and share such a magical spot as Lake Browning. And, yeah, just yeah, for a morale boost for sure. Oh mate, thanks for letting me be part of your adventure, eh? That's, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh sweet, well best luck for the rest of the trip, mate. Cheers mate. And um, yeah. And thank you everybody for watching along. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm sure you enjoyed the trip. And a few people to thank for making this trip possible. I want to thank my beautiful fiance for dropping me off on Thursday night after work. Um, the start of the trip. And then thank you to Harry, and mate, for driving up to pick me up now because it's a hell of a long way up here. So I no, really appreciate it, bro. And um. Yeah, thanks to all our sponsors that we're working with. Um, they all provide us with bloody great quality gear. It keeps us warm and safe and comfortable out here. And uh, it's, it's good to stand up in the ship. So I really appreciate it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And um, again, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the vid because it means a lot to us and really helps us out. So, nah, you're ready. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Oh, best right. of luck. Cheers, coming, mate. See ya. Enjoy, bro. Bye, bro. <laughs> Go, you're good, thing. Come on, you're good. Come on, you're good.